Engine building in progress. Let's go take a look. Hold on a second. Really? What's that lovely hat you've got on? Well, this, this is some new RPI merchandise. Uh, we've also got baseball caps, t-shirts, uh, glasses for your drink in the evening with Land Rovers and MGs engraved on them. All the sorts of things people would love for Christmas as little stocking fillers. Uh, you can find them in our eBay shop or buy them direct. It's okay going now, Steve. If I didn't know you better, I'd say that was a plug. Don't tell anyone, no one will notice. Okay, uh, Holly. Oh. Oh, uh, oh dear. Oh, he's, um, he's got off the chain again. We need to change that lock. Yeah, it must be break time. Anyway, uh, we're here, so we'll talk you through everything. We did think we would just put out a few uh, engine archives. Now, this is something we've been doing since about 1993, 1994. This is one of the very early ones from 94. We've built, on average, between about 150 to 200 engines per year. So uh, that's what it kind of averages out to. You can see here, we, uh, we then went a bit posh and, uh, and started laminating them. That was in 95. And then at some stage, we found uh, some more yellow ink was available. And uh, this is what all of our engine build specifications look like now. So uh, at the end of uh, the job, when the engine's complete, all of the bearing sizes go on here, and the customer actually gets a copy of this. So he's got a record of everything that went in his engine. Moving on from there, we've got the pre-build specification wall. Um, now these are what Holly gets to actually build an engine from and uh, this is just a, a little selection of the most recent ones. So uh, we've got several across the UK here uh, and then we go places like Saudi Arabia, France, we've got Canada, USA, Holland, Belgium, Georgia, USA, Blackpool, uh, West well, outside of Norfolk. Um, moving over this way uh, we've got the Conrod as a door handle, not everybody has, we do. Uh, the Merlin Engine Wall of Fame. Uh, again, just a few recent ones that we've built. Uh, these are pre-build specifications, so this was a 4.6 uh, Merlin engine going into a Morgan. That was great fun to drive. A 4 litre Merlin engine going into a P38 Range Rover. Uh, a 4.6 Merlin going into an MGB GT. 4.6 Merlin going into a carburetted Cobra. Fuel injected Cobra. Defender 110 that went over to Q8 and a Discovery 2 that went over to the USA. So just a small selection of what we've been doing recently uh, and we kind of add to this as we're going. So uh, we'll just move over here and talk about the engines we've got on build at the moment. Okay, so this is a 4 litre standard engine uh, building up for a Thor injection system. Uh, this actually goes off to one of our customers that uses them on an engine test cell. Uh, they run them for aging catalytic converters for, uh, and perform some tests on the catalytic converters. So this, uh, they just use a, a 4 litre 4. Moving on from here, this is a 4.6 stage 3 engine. This one's a little bit unique. This is going over to Australia. That doesn't make it unique for us. We send plenty of engines over there as well. But this is running the Bosch Motronic, or nicknamed Thor, uh, and series on the front end, and also the injection hardware, so the um, intake manifold, which we describe as a bunch of bananas, you know, the bent over pipes on top. However, it will be controlled by a GEMS ECU, so uh, a little bit different than that. We're looking forward to seeing that one done. This one here is another 4.6 stage 3, and uh, this one's going over to Germany. The customer's actually driving over next week to collect it, and uh, it's going into a P38 Range Rover. I'll just make my way over there, magically, by film editing. Okay, uh, you may have guessed this already, 4.6 stage 3. This engine is actually staying in the UK. It's going into a classic Range Rover, which will be driven down to us shortly for us to install this engine in there. We've got full workshop facilities, as you've probably seen, for us to allow for engine installation, cylinder head changes, camshaft upgrades, fuel injection upgrades. You name it, we can do it on a Rover V8 engine, basically. Reliability and drivability is our key goal, though. Moving this way, 4.6, stage 3 again. This is going over to Holland, is going into a Defender 90. We've built it up as a turnkey engine using the hot wire injection system. We label the wiring loom with the connections that the customer needs to make. We add lambda sensors to the loom if it hasn't got them already. Um, really nice install, and we make sure that things such as the speed input sensor, the gearbox sensor, is all labelled so the customer knows to wire it in, because they're the key things that people miss off. Last engine in here, 4.6 again, obviously looks completely different to anything else in here at the moment. So we've got the carbon fibre triple throttle body intake system here. Gives excellent throttle response. Fully ported intake manifold and moving around to the stage 4 Ultimate Street Merlin cylinder heads. 
This engine's going over to Thailand, it's going into a Range Rover P38. Uh, the customers specified to us uh, brand new genuine ancillaries as well, so power steering pump, air conditioning, alternator. We're able to source all of those, so everything's done to the customer specification. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing some videos of this running over in Thailand. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of the video. It just shows you a little piece of what we do and a little piece of our history as well, how many engines we actually build here. And they don't just stay in the UK, they go all over. Thanks for watching.